Alright, hey everyone, this is Silent from Mo Creatures. Uh, we've had a lot of people asking in Discord recently questions about how to uh, do different things in config, how to change different settings um, in Mo Creatures, and config can be a little daunting when you've never done it before, so I just wanted to show everybody the basics of how to get into config and the basics of how it works um, for Mo Creatures and custom mob spawners specifically. So the first important thing that you need to know how to do is how to get to the config folder. Uh, it's in your .minecraft folder, and if you don't know how to get to that, I'll just show that real quick. You need to go into your PC, uh, you need to go into your disk drive, go to users. Um, it should be the name, whatever name your computer is under in that folder. Uh, you'll need to go into your app data folder. If that's not visible, then you need to look up how to enable you to see your app data folder on your computer because on most Windows computers that's not viewable by default. You need to go to roaming and then here's your .minecraft folder right here and then we want to go into config. So this shows the config for all the mods for Minecraft that I have on my computer currently. Um, some of them have their own individual folders because they have multiple config files and some of them just have the one and so they're not in folders. So we're going to be focusing on mo creatures and custom spawner, which is custom mob spawner. Um, there's actually a lot more config in the custom mob spawner mod than there is in the mo creatures mod, which is why it's going to be very crucial that you have both of them. Uh, while mo creatures can run in a limited fashion without custom mob spawner. About 80% of the config stuff we're going to be looking at is actually in custom mob spawner, so you are going to need both of them. Um, but let's look at the mo creatures one first. There's only two files in there. There's the settings and the creatures themselves. Um, so to actually open up and look at config files, you need something where you can edit the file with. Um, I use Notepad++. Um, that's what most people that I've talked to use. It's a free program that you can download online. Um, I've already got them pulled up, so I'm going to open it here. So this is the basic mo creatures file. So what it's got is it's got every single mo creatures animal in here, and it's got five different settings for each animal. They're in alphabetical order. So basically, it determines whether or not you actually want this creature to spawn. You set it to true or false. Um, the frequency is how frequently you want the server to check for them in the area and then spawn them again. So you can make that number go up or down. Max chunk means how many of these there can be in a chunk. So for instance, since we're looking at anchovies, there can only be six anchovies spawned in a chunk. It won't spawn more than that unless you up this number. And if you're having too many anchovies, you can lower that number so it'll spawn less anchovies per chunk. Same thing with max spawn. If there's too many of them, you can lower it. If you want more of them, you can up it. Minimum spawn means that every time it checks for anchovies, and there's not any or there's not enough, it will at least spawn one. So this is where this is one of the one of the two places that you can go to turn off the spawning of something. Like if you don't like anchovies, you think they're annoying, you don't want them anymore, you can go in here and turn it off and they won't spawn anymore in your game. And then the other one we want to look at is the Mo Creature settings, which is the other Mo Creatures config file. Um, a lot of config uh, don't be daunted by all of the text on there. A lot of it is either changing numerical amounts or setting something to true or false. So, for instance, if you want things to attack wolves, you can set it to true or false, and whether or not they're going to destroy the item drops that come from killing something. So, a lot of this is just stuff that you would need to go through. They're uh, set up in different sections and decide either true or false, or, for instance, you can change the wyvern egg drop chance. And it explains to you how all of these work. Like it says a value of 10 means wyverns have a 10% chance to drop an egg. So let's say I want more eggs than that. I can just go in here and change to 50. So now wyverns, every time you kill one, will have a 50% chance to drop an egg instead of a 10. Or if it's too easy, you can change it to five or whatever you want. So most things in this config page and a lot of the other config pages are either going to be true, false, or changing a numerical value and it'll explain to you what all of those are so I encourage at least going in here and looking at them you can open them and not change anything and you won't mess anything up they're good to explore and now the other one we want to go to is we want to go into the custom spawner so you'll see that it has a folder for each um, world uh, I wouldn't worry about it just pick one and open it ultra space is for Pixelmon. don't pick that one let's pick another so it's got a bunch of different ones here. You've got structures and environment. 
and then some of these because custom mob spawner is not only related to mo creatures it's related to all mods that create more mobs so it's going to have configs in here like it has mo creatures but it also has pixelmon because i have pixelmon in my computer and it's got biomes aplenty because that can impact uh where mobs are spawning so let's take a look at some of those config pages so entity spawn type is in the custom mob spawners group of configs so you can go in here and it has different settings for monsters creatures ambient etc so basically a monster is something that's hostile and a creature is something that's not inherently hostile you've got water creatures you've got things that spawn underground and again you've got numerical values or true false things that you can go in and change for each grouping of creature so because custom mob spawner was created um with mo creatures we know that it works properly with mo creatures but other mods that are created uh even if they do create mobs and therefore should interact with custom mob spawner uh they might not all interact the same some of them might override some of the stuff that custom mob spawner is trying to do so you really are going to have to just fiddle with it with each mod that you're using it with and see how it works and another one of the things we have in the custom mob spawner config we have environment Again, this is a lot of other true-false or numerical values. Uh, for instance, you can change light level threshold, determining spawning farm animals or world gen spawning, um, villagers, etc. And then this is the big one that I want to get into, the entity biome group. This is one of the more overwhelming pages of config in custom mob spawner, but this allows you a lot of creativity as to where you want different animals to spawn. So this is going to have every single biome in the game, including biomes that are added by mods. For instance, I have biomes of plenty on my computer. So you'll see in here that we have some biome of plenty. Um, let me find one like ominous woods and quagmire. Those are biome of plenty and it has a BOP after it indicating that that is the mod that this biome has come from. And then you'll see MC, which means this is part of the normal game. Uh, let me see if I can find, and then you've got the wyvern layer's got MOC, because that's a mo creature biome, world biome. So, it also has every single entity in the game on this page. Again, you'll have MC at the beginning, indicates it's a, a default Minecraft animal. You've got your mo creatures animals down below that. And then I have a uh, custom NPC mod, so it's going to have some stuff for those down here too. Um, and it's got some more biomes of plenty of stuff down there. So basically what this giant confusing page means is for every animal, for instance, let's look at the bat since that's the one right here. You'll see it lists ocean, plains, desert, extreme hills, etc. These are all of the biomes in which a bat is allowed to spawn in the game. Um, but it has defaults for the mo creatures it has defaults for the default minecraft ones um so for instance like let's say i downloaded biomes of plenty and i was having trouble getting mo creatures animals to spawn in some of the new biomes that it has created let's just pick an arbitrary one uh let's find a biome of plenty there's a dead swamp let's say i want bats to spawn in my dead swamp First, we want to go in here and make sure that that's not already in here. Dead swamp, dead swamp. And it is going to go out to the side for a while because some of these will spawn in many, many, many biomes. So let's just assume that it's not in there. Let's assume that you looked through and you didn't see it. So then what you can do is you need to go in here and let's just put it here at the beginning. You want to keep it in between these little brackets right here. You want to keep it in between those. So we're just going to go up here where was it? We're going to copy dead swamp BOP. You're going to hit control C and copy it. We're going to go in here. We're going to paste it in. Now make sure that you put, let me see. Okay, we did that wrong. So you got to make sure that you're copying it in the right format. So we want in between the colons. So we want BOP dead swamp. And you're going to go in here and paste it. And so in between ocean and dead swamp we want a colon so you see now it matches everything else in this lineup so now we will have bats spawning in the dead swamp i'm going to take that back out 
So now let's say I'm looking at this list of where everything spawns and I see, hey, bats are spawning in the frozen ocean. I don't want them to spawn there. You can delete it out of here and then they won't spawn in that biome anymore. So let's make sure we line this up right in between the colons and we erase it. Now make sure you erase one of the colons too. You only want one colon in between uh, each biome. So now if we were to save this and exit out and go into the game, there would not be any more bats spawning in the frozen ocean. I'm gonna paste that back in. Now, one of the big questions that we've had pop up on our Discord uh, for the server a lot is people wanting to make their wyvern lair in their single player or whatever worlds just like the one on our server. So if you haven't played on our server before, in our wyvern lair, you're only supposed to have uh, wyverns and snakes and bunnies spawn. That's all that's supposed to spawn in there. But if you were to boot up a single player world with an unedited config, and you were to go into the wyvern lair, there would be a whole bunch of things spawning in there, a whole bunch of hostels, a whole bunch of different mode creatures, animals, and it can get overwhelming, and more importantly, it can make it very difficult for wyverns to find spawn space when there's so many other things that are able to spawn there. All right, so we're gonna go up here, we're gonna find wyvern lair right here. I'm gonna highlight it. We're gonna hit control F. So we want to find everywhere that MOC wyvern lair is written, so. All right, there's one right there. Let's have a look at where it's at. Find the next one. We've scrolled down. Ant. So by default, ants will spawn in the wyvern layer. So if you don't want ants to spawn in the wyvern layer, then we'll do like I said earlier. You take everything between that colon and that colon and you erase it. And then you make sure there's one colon in between plateau and sunflower planes. So you would go through like this. It is a very tedious process because you are going to have to go through every single mob like here now we're down to bees that also spawn in there you're going to have to go to every single mob and delete wyvern layer except for the ones that you want to spawn in the wyvern layer so it does get a little tedious but unfortunately when you have something that's uh so generic and that it can work with so many mods um that's just the most thorough and easy way to do it so, and same thing you could go through if you said, oh, well, there's not enough things spawning in the sunflower plains biome. I want wyverns to spawn in the overworld. I want them to spawn in sunflower plains or extreme hills. Then we could go, let's search for wyvern just in general. Let's see here. We don't want the wyvern lair. Okay. So what we want is Mo Creatures Wyvern Default. And if you guys want to know how I'm pulling this up, I'm hitting Control F. It lets you find things in the document you have currently pulled up. It's very useful. So what we're gonna do is copy that. We're gonna go back into here. We're gonna go back up to the biomes up here in the top. So which biome were we wanting? Let's pick Cold Tega Hills, just because that's the one I found. We're going to highlight it. We're gonna hit copy. We're gonna scroll all the way down. All the animals are gonna be in alphabetical order. So all the Mo Creatures animals are gonna be in alphabetical order after the Minecraft ones. So Wyvern's gonna be down here. Here we go. Wyvern default. By default, they only spawn in the lair, but if I were to add a colon here, hit paste. Now they will also spawn in Cold Tega Hills. So now they'll spawn in the overworld. If you want that, if you don't want people to have to go to the lair, you can just go in here and change it like that instead. So that's the most difficult config page. So just make sure that when you're copying and pasting that you're going between colons, everything in between the first colon and the last colon, and make sure that when you're done editing in an area that there's only one colon in between each thing and you should be set. All right, so let's look at the other configs. Again, most of these are just going to be true, false, and editing to uh, different numerical values. A lot of them will say if there's something that you want to turn off, but it's a numerical value, you can set it to zero. For instance, time that a player has to wait between uses of the AFK command. If you don't want people to have to wait in between when they say they're AFK and when they're not, you can just set it to zero and it won't impact them at all. So. This applies to this particular um, config page, applies to a lot of commands, uh, the AFK command, the back command, etc. Um, if you're doing this on single player, a lot of these won't apply because they're ones that apply to servers such as check mute, etc. 
And then the global config is there for whether or not you want vanilla things in your game. All right, so that is the very basics of how config works. Uh, I encourage you to go in and open it up and look for yourself. It won't hurt. It won't hurt it to open up and look, even if you don't change anything, just to get more acclimated to it. Um, and always feel free to, if you want, to go in and just make a copy of everything in your config folder, place it somewhere else on your computer. You can mess with it all you want so that if you do end up messing something up and you don't know how to fix it, you have a backup that you can put back in and get rid of whatever it was that you messed up. So don't be afraid to try it. And uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you suggest about um, ways that you learned your way around config or if there's any cool tricks that pertain specifically to the Mo Creatures config that I didn't go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thanks.